Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting filming day for me because I'm not sure if you guys have seen on Instagram, but Physicians Formula has recently revamped their organic wear makeup line. They came out with skincare and a bunch of new makeup and I placed a massive order on their website earlier this week and it finally arrived and I'm gonna be testing out all of these products. We're gonna be doing a wear test and we're gonna see how we feel about this new line. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure the organic wear line had already existed. I personally had never really tried too much from the line. I think they used to have a BB cream and things like that. Like I said before, they've revamped everything and they have a new silk foundation. They have a cream bronzer, cream highlighter, cream blushes, um, a primer, and a bunch of fun lip products. So let's just dive right into this. I'm not gonna waste any time. Just so you know, I didn't pick up every single thing in this line. I didn't pick up a lot of the skincare. I did have one skincare item that I picked up and then this right here, but I just picked up things that I personally was interested in and also just the colors that I was initially interested in. So as we go through, I'll let you know like how many shades there are within each product, but just thought I would throw that out there. So the first thing that I tried this morning was this right here. This is the Physicians Formula Organic Wear Lip Polish, and it has rose hip oil in it. I'm somebody who really likes things like this. I have a lot of lip polishes, and I have to say, based off my first impressions, I really did like this one. Here's what it looks like, and it comes with this little spoon, which is great. And the thing I liked about the spoon too is if you set it on top, it kind of rests on top of the lid, which I thought was a nice touch. So you can see where I scooped out a little bit of the lip polish, but I really, really liked how this felt on my lips. It wasn't too harsh. It also smells really good. On the Physicians Formula website, this retailed for $10.49. So, you know, it is a little bit up there, but I do have a lot more expensive lip scrubs. And I felt like the quality of that really lived up to my other lip scrubs. So, so far, so good. My lips feel and look really, really smooth. I did apply a clear lip balm right afterwards just to hydrate that. So that's the first product that I tried. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and spritz the face. I'm wanting to try out this right here. This is the Physicians Formula Nutrient Mist Facial Spray. It's supposed to hydrate and prep the skin for the rest of your skincare or makeup. It has um, a botanical floral blend. So there's rosehip oil, cactus flower, geranium flower oil, ylang ylang flower oil. There's also marula oil, hyaluronic acid, jojoba oil, ginger root extract, and aloe vera. So I thought that this seemed really nice. Again, they do have like a bunch of skincare. They had an oil cleanser, they had a face mask. So if you guys are interested in trying out their skincare, I will have the website link down below. I personally am just really picky when it comes to skincare So I thought I would stick to just the makeup because it also takes a while to like review a skincare product It takes me like four to six weeks to really get the hang of a product on the physicians formula website This retails for $16.99. I'm not sure if the prices will be less at Walmart. They're supposed to come into Walmart stores Soon because um, that is pretty pricey for a facial mist at the drugstore But at the same time, I really wanted to try it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray the face with this it definitely smells very natural, which I really, really like. Physicians Formula has been one of my favorite brands for a long time, so that's why I'm also super excited about this. For primer, I'm actually so excited to try this. This is the Physicians Formula Organic Wear Mineral Primer. It's supposed to moisturize, protect, and prep the skin all at once. This has an exclusive organic nourishing complex to balance and hydrate the skin. This has organic aloe vera, organic jojoba oil, and botanical cactus flower. I do think it's cool that this line has organic ingredients in it. I think that's really unique, especially for drugstore products. A lot of times ingredients aren't organic, at least as far as I'm concerned. So I do think that's kind of cool about this. All right, this primer retails for $15.99 on their website. It also says that this is hypoallergenic, fragrance-free, and paraben-free, and it's also gluten-free and dermatologist-approved, clinically tested. So I just put a little bit on my hand. It feels like a moisturizer, which I'm really liking. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this all over the skin. Ooh, it's very silky. That definitely has more of a thick formula. It feels like a really nice nourishing face cream. So I'm just making sure to blend that out all over the skin. It's starting to sink into the skin and it is a little bit tacky, which is really good for a primer as far as helping the foundation stay on longer. So I really like this and I'm really liking so far that there's no weird scents. I do get kind of picky when it comes to um, the smell of my makeup products. Okay, I have to say I'm the most excited to try this. This is the Physicians Formula Organic Wear Silk Foundation Elixir. Sounds very fancy already. This comes in 12 
12 shades and on their website it retails for $15.99. So it is higher priced for a foundation at the drugstore, but with Physicians Formula products, I really do feel like you're paying for higher quality ingredients. If you guys aren't aware, the Healthy Skin Foundation from Physicians Formula is like one of my all-time favorite foundations in general, not just from the drugstore. I really stand by that product. And so I'm really excited to try this. And I believe that product is around a similar price. And I really feel like you get what you pay for. I bought my foundation in the shade 02 Fair to Light. It has like a dropper applicator. Ooh, it's kind of messy on the sides. I don't really know what to expect. So I'm going to pump it on the back of my hand first. I'm just going to do about one dropper full, which equals about this much product. Ooh, it seems to be um dripping down my hand. Okay. I'm going to start by taking my Real Techniques buffing brush. And I'm going to take about half of the foundation on the back of my hand. And I'm going to start to blend this out all over the skin. Whoa. Okay, immediately... There's way more coverage than I was expecting. I still have this much product on the back of my hand and a little bit of this is going a very long way. While I'm blending this out, I'm gonna reach you some of the claims that this has. It's supposed to be super nourishing, a very fluid, which I agree to that, it's a very fluid. Weightless organic foundation elixir that improves the appearance of skin tone and texture while delivering a sheer to buildable coverage. So right off the bat, I definitely don't think this is sheer. I definitely think it's more of a medium coverage, but I guess that just depends on how much you apply. Okay, so this is pretty evenly distributed. I'm gonna take the rest of the foundation on the back of my sponge, and I'm just gonna go over everything with a sponge to really get rid of any brush lines. I will say that there are quite a few brush lines, so just something to note if you do try this foundation, and that's why I always like to go in with a sponge to kind of smooth things out. The key ingredients in here are organic jojoba oil, organic aloe vera. This ingredient I'm not really sure about. It has organic coconut oil and botanical cactus flower. The cactus flower, I'm pretty sure that I'm fine with. The organic coconut oil, even though it's organic, coconut oil is known to clog pores, so I'm really hoping that this doesn't break me out. I usually try to steer clear of coconut oil on the face, but at the same time, I really wanted to try this foundation, so I'm just risking it today, I guess. <laughs> Okay, I feel like that shade is a really good match, and as I blended it out, I guess it is more of a sheer coverage in some areas, like over here. It just still looks like skin, but it evened out the skin tone really nicely, so I do like the level of coverage that that gave. I'm just gonna go ahead and conceal the under eye area. I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer. I'm also going to conceal any blemishes, but I really don't wanna apply too, too much concealer underneath the eyes since this is all about the new foundation and things. I don't wanna bring the concealer down too far because I really wanna see how the foundation wears throughout the day. So I'm just gonna blend that out underneath the eye and get it right here in this inner corner. And I'm gonna take what's left and kind of apply it to the eyelid. All right, so the concealer is all blended out. And so far, so good with the foundation and primer and everything. It's definitely more of a natural looking foundation. It also definitely has more of a luminous and dewy finish. So let's move into bronzer. I'm really excited about this as well. This is the new Organic Wear Sculpting Bronzer. This product is available in two shades. I picked up the lighter shade called Toffee. Here's what the packaging looks like. This claims to be an ultra blendable and buildable bronzer loaded with hydrating antioxidants to provide a healthy all over warmth to the skin. It's a cream to powder bronzer, which I personally really like. I like when a cream bronzer dries down a little bit. It has organic jojoba oil, natural Indian senna seed, organic aloe vera, and again, the cactus flower, which seems to be a theme throughout all these products so far. It says to warm it on the back of your hand, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Ooh, the shade of this is actually really nice, I think. Hopefully it blends out nicely too. So I'm just applying some to the back of the hand. And then it says to apply under cheekbones, below hairline, along jawline, on both sides of the nose. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my Real Techniques contour brush and I'm gonna start to work this into the skin. I usually like to kind of press the product in before I buff, just to kind of make sure I get a nice shape. I'm gonna apply this on half of the face first so we can really see the difference. But so far it's blending out really nicely. I'm gonna make sure to blend it down the neck as well. Okay, so I haven't pressed it in with the sponge yet, but I am really, really liking how that's blending out. And I also really like the tone. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the bronzer to the other side of the face. Okay, so now that the bronzer is distributed all over the skin, I am gonna go over everything with my sponge just to make sure it's blended into the foundation nicely. Okay, so far so good. I'm really liking how the complexion is looking. Again, it looks very, very natural, which is what I was expecting from this line. That bronzer blended out really nicely. I do like the tone of it, and I like how sheer it blended out. I felt like I had a lot of control, which is really important when it comes to a cream bronzer for me. Sometimes it's easy to go overboard depending on the formula of this, but I felt like this was really easy to work with. All right, I'm actually going to move into the highlighter next. 
This is the Physicians Formula Organic Wear Dewy Highlighter. This is also a stick formula. Oh, I forgot to tell you that the bronzer retails for $11.99 and so does the Dewy Highlighter. It's the same price as the bronzer. This also is available in two shades. I picked up the lighter shade called Dew Frost and here's what it looks like in the tube. I'm gonna go ahead and take my sponge and I'm going to just go like this to try to pick up some of the product. Hopefully this works. <laughs> And then I'm just gonna go ahead and start to stamp that onto the cheeks. Is it working? I think it is. Part of me can't tell because the skin's so dewy right now. Okay, there it is, it's definitely working. That is beautiful. Wow, I'm gonna bring it on the front of the cheeks a little bit. Let's look up close. I wanna see if there's glitter particles or anything. There's not. It just looks fresh. Ooh, that looks pretty. I really like products like this. I'm gonna go ahead and take that down the center of the nose as well and on the cupid's bow. Wow. Oh, you guys, I really like this highlight. I would love to see it later. We'll have to try it again in another video, but I would love to see how that wears on top of like a more full glam look where I've powdered the skin because if this wears well over powder, oh man, that's beautiful. All right, next we're gonna apply some blush, which I'm really excited about these blushes. I bought two out of the four available shades. These are the Physicians Formula Organic Wear Dewy Blush Elixirs. And I picked up two shades, one in the shade Gorgeous Peach and one in Pink Berry. Let's go ahead and swatch the two. Um, I'm gonna swatch a little bit of Pink Berry. There's Pink Berry. It's a little bit more of a cool toned pink, which I think is really nice. Um, this next one is called Gorgeous Peach. Ooh, both of them are so pretty. I don't know which one to do. Maybe I'll layer both. I'm gonna start with the Gorgeous Peach shade and I'm gonna take the bottom of the sponge and I'm just gonna dip into that shade first. I'm gonna smile and start to apply this all over the cheeks. Oh wow, it definitely has a very, very dewy finish. You know what this reminds me of already? Are those M Cosmetics serum blushes. Okay, I just went into the pink color and I'm layering that more toward the front of the cheeks. I'm flipping the sponge over to the side that I use foundation, not the highlighter side. And I'm just gonna kind of blend the edges. Okay, everything in this line is very, very glowy and dewy and fresh, which I definitely think looks really nice. Oh, also before I forget, these retail for $13.49. Um, these are infused with anti-aging super fruits, organic aloe vera, jojoba oil, cactus flower. So yeah, there's similar key ingredients throughout the line. I do really like how that looks. I like the color. I'm still not sure if I like a full dewy cheek, so we will see how this wears, but I really do like it. And you get a lot of product in here. Like I did not need very much at all. So with this one, even though the price tag is a little bit higher for a drugstore cream blush, you get a ton of product in here. Like, I don't know if I'll ever be able to go through these. I think they look really pretty on the cheeks. Okay, so next, I'm gonna go ahead and powder underneath the eyes and through the T-zone. I'm gonna leave the cheeks free from powder just so we can really see how this wears throughout the day. Um, but first I'm gonna go ahead and blot out any creasing under the eye. And I'm taking my Glossier Wouter. I'm just gonna set the under eye area. And I also like to set right here on the side of the nose. I usually get pretty oily there. I'm gonna take it through the smile lines and also on the chin. And also a little bit on the tip of the nose and a little bit right here on the forehead. That's where I tend to get super oily. So I just definitely wanna set those areas, but I am gonna leave the rest of it nice and dewy for our wear test. Before we move on, I'm just gonna take a little bit of bronzer. This one's from Ciate London. It's in the shade Palm Island. And I'm gonna press out any concealer on the lid. I'm gonna take the powder brush and just kind of set that to make sure it doesn't crease anymore. And I'm gonna do a quick little eye look just some bronzer on the top lid and along the lower lash line. Okay, so that just warmed up the eyes a little bit. Next, I'm gonna be trying out an eyeliner. And I don't always wear eyeliner, but I did wanna pick up as many makeup items as I possibly could for this video. So this is the new Precision Liquid Eyeliner, and I picked up mine in the shade Brown. So this eyeliner comes in two shades, black and brown, and it retails for $12.49 on the Physicians Formula website. This says that it's highly pigmented, it's smudge resistant, it has a fine brush tip applicator, and this product has chamomile, oil in it, jojoba oil, aloe vera, and the cactus flower again. So here's what the packaging looks like. Let's see what the brush looks like. Okay, so it's just a standard liner brush. I'm not the best with liners like this, so let's see how it goes. I'm just gonna go ahead and run this across the entire top lash line. Okay, so there's one eye done. The application is pretty easy. I feel like liquid liner in general is just not the easiest, but 
considering I was able to apply that first line pretty good. I don't want to jinx myself. I'm going to focus for a minute. <laughs> okay, I feel like that's as good as it's going to get. I do like the color of it. I did get a little bit on the lid right there, so I'm going to have to clean that off once it dries down. Wasn't the best eyeliner I've ever used, but it also wasn't the worst. And they look pretty even, so I'm counting my blessings. For mascara, I actually picked up two mascaras. They launched three different ones, but I just picked up these two. And I thought for this look, I would do one mascara on either eye just to see the difference. I know that might look weird, but I really want to try out as much as I can. So the first one is called the Lash Boosting Mascara, and this one has soybean in it. This might be the same formula as their old mascaras. I'm not really sure. It just says new look on the front. So maybe they just changed the packaging. I don't know. In fact, let me see if it says anything about that on their website. It doesn't say, but this is in like the new makeup category. So I don't know if this mascara already existed and if they changed anything about it or what. Regardless, we're gonna give it a try. So let's do the uh, soybean one on the right eye. Here's the packaging. It looks just like their other mascaras, so that's why I'm thinking maybe it's just the same, but it just looks different on the outside. Ah, uh, yes. It has the green applicator. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to the right eye. Okay, there's the Lash Boosting Mascara with soybean on the right eye. We're gonna use the Fake Out Mascara with Silk Cotton on the left eye. Hopefully it's not too drastic, <laughs> otherwise my eyes might look weird. First, I'm gonna try to dust off that eyeliner. There we go. Here we go with the other mascara on the left eye. Well, that mascara was a lot more difficult. It smudged a lot more. I didn't notice a huge difference in the mascaras. This one I felt like was a little bit more volumizing, but both of them kind of made my eyelashes look really thin. For me personally, when I apply mascara, like I want it to really, really make my lashes look amazing. And I feel like this just kind of made it look like I have less lashes than I do. So I don't really know if I'm a fan of either, but you know, we're gonna wear them anyway. Probably needed to let that dry more. Dang it. <laughs> With that being said, I do really like how they look on the lower lashes though. I felt like it defined them, but it doesn't look too overpowering. So maybe if they wear well, I would reach for them for a lower lash mascara, but not sure how I like them on the top lashes. This is not coming off. All right, well, we might have mascara marks all day. <laughs> By the way, both of the mascaras retailed for at $10.49. All right, we're gonna try on a few different lip products because they came out with new tinted lip balms, which are like my favorite. I love tinted lip balms. They launched five shades. I bought three out of the five and I thought I would swatch all of them. So first we're gonna try out Tawny Nude. Um, these retail for $9.49. So this is the lightest shade that they offer. Definitely feels really nice on the lips. Hmm. It almost has like a vanilla cakey scent to it. That's really, really pretty. So that one is Tawny Nude. The next shade I'm gonna be trying is called Ginger Snap. It's a little bit more of a deep brown. Ooh, I really like that color. So there's Ginger Snap. I really like how these feel so far. And the last shade I picked up is called Tickled Pink, which is a really pretty rosy pink color. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that on. Ooh, I like this shade a lot. Okay, yeah, I definitely really like this shade. All three of them were gorgeous shades, but these are pretty pigmented for a tinted lip balm, and I love this pink color. I just feel like it's very flattering on my skin tone, and it matches the blush nicely as well. So those are the three tinted lip balms that I picked up. I also have three um, lipsticks that I'll try on for you as well. So far, that pink one is my favorite, though. The lip balms are $9.49 each. And the Organic Wear Nourishing Lipsticks are also $9.49. They came out with six shades of this. I picked up three. First, we have the shade Buttercup. Look at the applicator. It looks like Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. Like identical. I actually have one right here. Look at that. A very, very similar shape. All right, we're gonna try on the shade Buttercup. This is the lightest shade in this lipstick range. Oh wow, these are really pigmented as well. Please excuse the lip lines. I did not apply a lip liner. That's a really pretty kind of brownish nude with a little bit of pinky peach in it. It's really nice. So again, that shade is called Buttercup. The next shade I'm gonna be trying is called Desert Rose. This one got a little bit botched, but that's okay. Hopefully it still works well. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this on. Wow, that is way brighter than what it looked like online. It's still really pretty. I kind of was hoping that it would be more of a pinky nude color, I guess. I guess it looks pretty similar to that. Well, anyways, this is Desert Rose. And then the last color I have is actually a very, very bold color and it's called Raspberry Crush. So let's go ahead and try that on. Okay, so that's definitely another very, very bold color. I'm actually shocked at how extremely pigmented these are. And even though this line is kind of like organic and natural, the lip colors, they went really bold with them. So if you're somebody who doesn't really like 
To go with more sheer natural makeup, you might really enjoy these lipsticks since they do have so many fun colors and they're really, really bold. Based off of what I applied, my favorite one was the tinted lip treatment in the shade Tickled Pink. So that's what I'm gonna have on my lips for the first part of the day. Maybe I'll try another one if this wears off, but I really, really liked how this looked. I originally was planning on using the facial mist at the end to set everything, but I don't feel like we need any more glow or dew added to the skin. I think it looks very fresh already. Let's see if we need anything else. I might actually still add bronzer. Just using a little bit more of that bronzer stick, which I do actually really like this so far. I'm just gonna add a little more to the forehead. Okay, last but not least, we have a brow gel, which I'm actually really excited about. This came in four shades. I just picked up the clear shade since that's usually what I wear when it comes to brow gels. I usually stick to just a clear one. This is infused with jojoba oil and coconut oil, and it's supposed to condition and maintain your brows. Ooh. Okay, so immediately I'm really liking how tiny the spoolie is. Let's go ahead and try this out in the brows. I'm gonna start with this brow right here. Ooh, it's a little bit gloopy. Whoa, maybe there's just too much product initially on it. Hang on. Okay, I wiped off a little bit of the excess product. Now we're going back in. It definitely has a very thin formula. A lot of brow products that I try have a little bit more of like a thick formula just to kind of thicken up the brows. This is definitely more like thin and wet. Let's go ahead and brush through the other brow. Okay, I like this brow better. I think it's because there was less product on the brush. I didn't dip back into the tube and I like the amount of product that went onto this brow. I really do like the tiny little brush on it though. I definitely think that's a nice touch and it makes it really easy to groom the brows. Okay, so here's how the makeup looks like after applying everything. It's definitely more of a no makeup makeup look, which is again what I was expecting from this line. I'm not really sure how long this is going to last on the skin since these types of products don't tend to be the most long wearing. There were also no claims for longevity on any of these products. So with that being said, we're still gonna do a wear test just to see how it wears. It's currently 2.36 in the afternoon. I'm gonna wear this as long as possible. We'll see how it all holds up and how it looks. Before I do my wear test, I'm gonna put a before and after with my fresh face without makeup versus the makeup being freshly applied so you can see the difference. And then we'll do another side-by-side -side comparison at the end of the day to see how it wore. So yeah, this is what we're working with right now. I definitely already have some favorite products and some not so favorite products, but we're gonna do the wear test to really solidify my opinion. So I will see you guys in my next check-in. All right, so my first check-in is right after filming in front of the window. I just wanted to show you guys what everything looks like. Again, this is very much a no makeup makeup kind of a look. Right now it looks very fresh and very dewy. And it seems like the foundation has set down pretty well. The bronzer has also set down to a more powdery finish, um, but the cheek area is definitely more dewy and glossy with the highlighter and the blushes. I love the tinted lip balm color. So I just wanted to show you guys where we're at. I'm so curious to see how this wears because again, these products don't seem to be like they're gonna be long wearing, but that's what this wear test is for. So here's where we're at right now. I will check back in in a couple hours and we'll see where everything is at. All right, you guys, so I am back. It's the end of the night now. I didn't do any other check-ins throughout the day. It's currently 1048, so I've been wearing this for over eight hours. Let's sit down and talk about everything. You know, I'm gonna be honest, today wasn't like my favorite makeup day of all time. It was very much a no makeup makeup look, which I feel like is fine for certain days, but for some reason I just wasn't vibing with just the look itself. But let's go through each product because I do feel like I have some that I'm really excited about and others that I'm definitely not excited about. So first things first, the Physician's Formula Organic Wear Nutrient Mist Facial Spray. This is something that I feel like I'm gonna have to continue to use. I didn't personally feel like it was anything extra special, nothing that you should maybe run out and grab. The thing I did like about it though were the ingredient lineup. So if you did want something that has a little bit more of a fancy oil blend, you might be into this. This facial spray definitely leans more skincare than it does like a setting spray. Spray. So if that's something you're into, you might like this. For me personally, it was good, but it wasn't anything to go crazy over. Oh, let's rewind a little bit. I actually did like the lip polish. I do feel like I will continue to use this. And I like how there's a good quality lip scrub at the drugstore. I personally don't think I have one that I really like from the drugstore. So I'm actually excited about that. Moving on to primer, the mineral primer with cactus flower. I actually really enjoyed the texture of this. I do feel like I'll continue to reach for this. I'm excited to see how it works with some of the foundations that I 
I'm already familiar with. So I did actually really like this. I'm not really sure how it helped with longevity at all since this is the first time using it and it's also the first time I used all the other complexion products, but I do feel like I will give this another go. The Silk Foundation Elixir, I do feel like it made my skin look very natural and very dewy. It's definitely a very nice no makeup makeup foundation if you want it to be. However, I do feel like if I were to wear it how I normally wear other foundations without a bunch of cream products, I almost feel like it could go more glam if you wanted it to. As far as longevity goes today, it's starting to wear off a little bit in the T-zone area, which is usually the first place that the foundation breaks up. It's broken up around my nose a little bit and around my chin, so not the longest wearing foundation, but again, there were no long wearing claims, and honestly, this is kind of what I was expecting from this entire range. It just seemed more like a fresh kind of running errands line for me personally. I know a lot of people are into this kind of a makeup look for me personally. Personally, this is not my everyday. I like something a little bit more if I'm going to wear makeup. And when it comes to this versus the healthy foundation, I definitely still lean towards my healthy foundation right now. I do like this for a lot of reasons. It's not my favorite in how it wore off today. But again, I want to try this with products that I'm familiar with and see if it helps at all with the longevity. But it's definitely a product that's geared more toward no makeup makeup, a dewy finish. So if you're somebody who's into that, you might like this. If you're somebody who has maybe acne prone skin or you like a more full coverage foundation. This might not be one that you love so much. I feel like you might like the healthy foundation a little bit better. This definitely did have more of a dewy fresh finish. The healthy foundation I feel like leans a little bit more matte. The healthy foundation isn't like a flat matte but it definitely is a little bit more matte than this one. The sculpting bronzer stick, I was actually pleasantly surprised with this. I did like how it set down to more of a powder. I like to use products like this with a full glam look. You guys probably know by now I'm somebody who likes to use cream products in conjunction with powders. So if I were to use this again, I would use it more as a base for the makeup and then I would set the entire face with powder and go in with a powder bronzer on top. I feel like when I do that my makeup lasts longer and the contour lasts longer and it also looks better in photos. So I'm excited to have a drugstore option. I really like the shade of this and I did really like the formula. So that's something I'm really excited about. I'm also equally excited about the dewy highlighter. I felt like these two products were really great. I'm very excited to see how this wears over top of powders because besides the whole dewy cheek, I loved how it looked on the very high points of the face and I'm really into more of a balmy kind of finish when it comes to a highlighter especially for more glam looks. The dewy blush elixirs I was honestly really excited to try these and I do feel like there's some pros to it. I like how much you get I like the packaging, I like the colors, but for me, maybe it was just with the whole vibe of the look. I don't know, there was just something about it that I didn't love. When it comes to these liquid blushes, it's a hit or miss for me sometimes. I feel like the Flower Beauty liquid blushes are similar to this, but for some reason they're not as glowy which some people might look for that in a blush, so I shouldn't say that they're not good products because I do feel like they're good, and I actually do feel like the color lasted on my cheeks, but I just feel like I've personally tried better cream blushes, especially at the drugstore. Again, the Flower Beauty ones are my personal favorites. So these blushes, I feel like were just okay in my opinion. Let's talk about the eyes. The eye look is what really threw me off today. I know it's more simple, and I almost didn't really mind the eyeliner as much as the mascara. I did not like how my lashes look today. I just felt like it looks like there's three lashes, and I know I have more lashes than that and I like mascaras that really show off you know the length and fullness of my lashes so I go for things like the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara, the CoverGirl Exhibitionist, those kinds of mascaras that are just a little bit more volumizing and thickening I go for those. So not my favorite style of mascara and the eyeliner was okay I'm just somebody who's not really into liquid liners. It didn't break up at all but it also didn't apply perfectly so I don't think it's the best eyeliner I've ever tried. I honestly was not that impressed with just the eye look in general today. It kind of, you know, killed my vibe a little bit. <laughs> Let's talk about the tinted lip balms. I actually really enjoyed these. And again, as you guys know, my favorite shade definitely was the Tickled Pink, which I'm going to reapply it right now. This was definitely my favorite lip color out of all the lip colors we tried today, just because it feels so comfortable and it's subtle enough, but it's also a little bit of a pop of color, which I personally really like. So out of the three that I tried, I definitely really like the Tickled Pink shade, and I was happy with the formula of that so far. The Nourishing Lipsticks, I'm gonna have to get back to you. I honestly was not floored by the brighter colors, which is funny because I'm usually a bright lipstick kind of a gal, but when it comes to brighter colors, I prefer to have more of a matte 
liquid lipstick kind of formula just so that I know it's going to hang on to my lips. And the Physicians Formula, the Healthy Lip Liquid Lipsticks are some of my favorites. So I really feel like they knocked it out of the park with the liquid lipsticks, but I'm not sure about this formula when it comes to bright colors. That's just my opinion though. With that being said, I did really like the Buttercup shade and I do feel like I will reach for this. I just felt like it was a little bit deeper than what I was personally looking for for a no makeup makeup kind of a look. So I definitely feel like this shade on my skin tone will be something that I reach for when I have more of a bronzy smoky eye on the lid. The brow gel, let's check out the brows. You know, I actually feel like it did a very good job at holding the brows in place. I can still feel the brow gel in the brows and I feel like things have stayed put. The only thing was it did have quite a bit of product on it initially. I don't know if that's like just a first application kind of thing or if that's gonna be the case every single time I reach for this. I did like the small spoolie on it as well. So I do actually feel like I'm gonna reach for this product and I will keep you guys posted on if there tends to be a lot of product on the spoolie or if that was just a one-time situation. So to wrap up the whole situation, the things I loved most were definitely the tinted lip balm. And again, this is in the shade Tickled Pink. I also really enjoyed the stick bronzer and the stick highlighter. So I'm excited to continue to use that. I'm also excited to continue to try out the primer and I can't wait to see how it works with other foundations. And as far as the foundation goes, I'm still on the fence. You know what? I'm actually filming this on Thursday and this video doesn't go up till Saturday. So what I'll do is I'll wear this for the next day or so and kind of get a little bit more of a final opinion on the things I'm on the fence about. And I will have that written out for you guys in the description box down below. Just so you guys can see how things were, I'm gonna go ahead and put a before and after right here so you guys can see how it looked from after the makeup was freshly applied until over eight hours later. So there you have it, you guys. That's my first impression on the new Physicians Formula Organic Wear line. It's definitely something that's geared towards more of a no makeup makeup on the go, fresh faced kind of a vibe. If you're somebody who's into more glam full coverage makeup, I don't think you would really like a lot of these products. With that being said, a lot of them were really nice. I just don't think that I would reach for them on days where I I need my makeup to really last a long time and I definitely will not be doing this eye look again. <laughs> if you're new here, hi my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button and if you're already a subscriber but you want to be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays when I upload, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you guys have tried this line out yet or what your favorite things were that I tried today. How do you think the makeup looked by the end of the day? Is this a line that you guys are into or not and tell me why. I would love to read your comments about it down below. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye!